welcome back dear friend in the previous uh, chapter we are discuss about how to use generative ai uh, for better for making your job more easy and now we are going to understand how to improve your uh, prompt writing skills because this is one skill which is very important nowadays for any kind of uh, job using prompt you can generate text image video audio um, 3d models etc um, but how to write those prompt first of all you must need to make your prompt meaningful in plain english okay so you, if you have good command on plain english you can share your imagination just like a chat and these prompt are just like some instruction to do something you can ask a question for getting a specific answer you can also request some data and uh, you can also request some examples so when you are writing a prompt you have to frame your prompt in a way that it sounds like you are asking for instruction or you are asking one specific question or you are looking for some data or you want some examples so you can remember these uh, three points and the next thing is it is text to text generative ai text to text generative ai what is text to text generative ai uh, that means your ai prompt is understanding the text you are sharing with uh, your uh, generative ai it's maybe google bard or ChatGPT. so create some little bit of content that is relevant to your topic and uh, then it will answer you more um, specifically about this and in detail so you can use chat gpt for creating content now you can also debug your code suppose you have created some code and at some point you find that I need some assistance from an expert who can help me in thinking process or solving the bug so you can share this code and you can explain you can request the some explanation on that bug you can educate yourself on some topic and you could do some research on some topic you can also translate content in any language using uh, Google Bard or ChatGPT, or you can get some virtual assistance on certain topic like your computer is not working. You you can share the problem and you can get an answer about this. And many things you can do using this text-to-text -text conversation. Now, what is the way of starting this conversation first you start this conversation with a simple uh, prompt like hi please explain me then you can write the topic within quotation mark so start with a simple prompt first uh, so that the chat can understand what kind of information you are looking for uh, then add some specific instruction for making it more elaborate uh, like in your prompt you can use the keyword like write summarize or provide or you can start with can you tell us can you provide some information um, or create an essay on this topic or summarize the following text and then give two paragraphs of text and get the summary of that 
so that the AI can understand the context, context of the conversation. As long as it is not capable to understand the constant context of the conversation, it will not give you proper answer. So when you are very specific to this context, you will get more relevant answer. And sometimes you will see that those information are not coming as per your expectation. In that case, you can regenerate this content using the regenerate button. And in Google Bard, they change this regenerate idea and provides you some draft at the top. Like at present, you are viewing one draft at top of the uh, conversation you will get a drop down menu and where you will find other draft of the same answer so google provides multiple variety of the same answer so this is how it works Dear friends, in this uh, part, we'll learn uh, some basics of using Generative AI. First of all, the keyword is explain. So with the help of explain, you can uh, understand any topic like topic and then you say like i am say 10 years so this is one simple prompt for understanding any topic just like getting information from wikipedia about this topic so uh, um, Generative AI will give you some introduction, definition, and small details about this. Next thing is uh, getting more information. So, for getting more information, you have to create one account with a Generative AI. So you can use, create this account using your email id google bard provides you free account and at present there is no charges for this kind of service so it is free of cost service now i want to ask a interesting question to generative ai and I want to um, I want to get one poem. Okay. So I want to see the creativity of generative AI. So I'm writing my prompt like this. Look at this. Here my prompt is like this. Act as a poet and write a poem using the uh, followings okay now in this poem you want to um, You want to get some idea of uh, a nice nice dinner with your partner and uh, you want to visit a place uh, like uh, okay a poet's imagination is di different uh, like I want to explore
Let's pour the world with my beloved. Uh, beloved partner and uh, and uh, what and I we want to we want to enjoy enjoy all happiness it's together this is my situation okay now it is poet's imagination how he is going to write it so here i can give um uh, some more information write the poem in in uh, say 10 line or we within 10 line okay this is my prompt and let's see how the poet answer my uh, prompt make sure the co content of this uh, of this prompt is uh, grammatically correct and let's see what it has written in a world of wonders we too shall roam very nice hand in hand together we'll call it home beautiful across the world our spirits intervene very rare vocabulary and exploring life's treasures a love and shining Though sunlight, sunlight fills and ocean vast, with every step a memory to cast, we'll chase the star and dance in the moonlight glamour. Okay, the poem is, uh, the poet is very uh, thoughtful. The poem is full of thoughts and pictures and imagination. And no mountain too high no distance too far in love embrace will reach every star and with with you my beloved by my side you will conquer we will conquer the world our love as we guide as our guide Anyway, they, there is a concept behind this. We see there is a thinking capability and all these possible because of generative AI. Now, OpenAI has a tool for creating some images. So we want to create some image based on this poem. And let's see what an AI draw based on this thinking because by using the literature it is very clear that he is trying to pictureize something so okay so we are going to use the tool image generating tool and let's see how it works so we search open ai and the there is a tool available dala e2 and let's try this e2 and here uh, right uh, i'm giving the description just like this uh, poem 
and based on these two uh, two stranger as uh, two paragraph or stranger I just want to see one beautiful picture and let's see how it draw these things okay now generate I have just copy paste thing and let's see how it generate so it is generating based on this description it will take a little bit of time and we can expect a very nice picture let's see yes so it has created a very nice picture as per the description you can see uh, two person is traveling the world and a very nice picture especially this one and this one is actually generating everything that wonders us right so that is the beauty of prompt earlier you need a graphics designer artist for this imagination for this um, kind of work because how it is creating this image it is collecting different images and combining those images together uh, and creating a nice image just like this one of course the uh, picture is not so accurate it is it is just like some abstract drawing but you can see uh, it is just like an artistic work now you know one more interesting thing here some people are actually selling those picture on online platform and getting a good revenue because some people are interested to uh, paint this picture on their wall and uh, it is a kind of imagination okay kind of creative work so we understand how ai can work as a poet or and as an artist now few more important uh, more uses of ai you can also ask question to an expert like act as a yoga teacher and teach me um, a particular asan ChatGPT can do this act as a lawyer and explain me one particular law and uh, act as a act as a particular specialist like coder like php coder and explain me this topic okay so this is how chat can make your life simple and it is possible because of good use of prompting okay prompting means you are communicating with ai you are giving sufficient information to ai and AI is responding based on your information. So sometimes you can use AI for brainstorming. Brainstorming on any topic. You can ask uh, an open-ended uh, question. And uh, let's see what, uh, what it can answer based on that. Uh, like... Uh, like CEO of a small startup or CCO of a um, big or uh, say or business development manager manager or uh, manager in a big 
in a corporation which one you want to become which one you want to choose as your career option so okay uh, the you it is not visible just we want to see the difference of these two so we are going to ask a question to chat gpt regarding this which is a better career now here you can add one more clause uh, like act as a career counselor so i'm not going to use this and let's see this how it responds based on uh, this prompt so it is analyzing to both sides of the coin and so fast we cannot think it's impossible uh, the way it is uh, generating the text is very fast so let's see how it is responding what are the major point it has highlighted okay so first point that it highlighted that determine uh, being ceo of a small startup or a business development in a corporation is a better career option depending on your individual goal Pref uh, preferences and circumstances both rules have their own advantages and consideration so let's look at this comparison if you become a ceo of a startup um, you have the ownership right you have the autonomy and you have more control over decision making right absolutely fine you can take the decisions about your business absolutely fine no doubt about this and uh, what else you have uh, you are learning to grow that you have chance to grow at any uh, level and uh, you will you get high reward because you are the owner and if the startup becomes successful the financial reward is very high and you have the possibility of a significant wealth in future so this is uh, this is one point on the other hand if you become a business development manager in a corporation you have these stab uh, stability and resources you get more people you don't need to worry about who is going to work with you how to grow this company because you have the resources and you have the stability you have the infrastructure because someone else already set up this business for you so that is one advantage and you are uh, as you are a specialized person in your particular field you learn more technique like business analysis strategy for um, leadership and you expand the business okay and business is also depending on you because of your contribution in uh, in a startup you get opportunity to work in this role as well but it is not your specialization specialization you have to uh, look at uh, other areas as well and networking and growth opportunities is very high because why because uh, corporations in corporate world you get networking with other professionals and they also give you better opportunity so ultimately the better career option depends on your personal goal which one you want to take do you want to take risks do you want to uh, build a an entrepreneur uh, or enterprise so entrepreneurial 
thinking is needed for a startup CEO whereas you need very professional focused professionalism if you want to become a part of a big corporation so considering your strength interest and long-term aspiration you can decide which one is better so we can understand that it uh, the right prompt can give you good advice and give you some good comparison of um, two sides apart from these you can also do so this is an example of how to do brainstorming with ai next you can um, write email using this you can summarize a long text i think these are not challenging summarize this following text okay you can uh, request for a resume uh, based on a job description which is very simple nothing complicated just provide me a resume for the following job description and write copy paste the job description okay you will get a resume and then you can you can restructure this resume for uh, for more specific job oriented you can ask for the cover letter like provide me a cover letter based on the above resume or based on the above job description very simple and other few points like you can also uh, write some social media update using prompt like uh, provide like i can create a tweet create a tweet I, we all know the tweet has only 180 characters so i did twitter post based on the above article and and why you want to create that twitter post what is the motivation behind that and motivate your student in self space or um or self uh, keep learning kind of motivate your student in online learning from your you suppose you have an online learning uh, academy from your courses So you can uh, add another phrase like act as a teacher okay let's see how it responds in a like a tweet very nice calling all students okay whether your dream is to be a ceo of a startup or a business development manager in a corporation we have got you cover game very nice but uh, whether twitter is going to allow so many things or not but the ultimately the whole 
um, post is very beautiful with sufficient emojis focusing on uh, the subject matter etc and it has also created some good hashtags innovative hashtag hashtag so you can understand it can replace a social media manager's job very easily if someone has the skill of how to use this prompt amazingly you can get a job you can replace uh, your social media manager with this uh, tool isn't that interesting okay see you guys with more update in the next episode till then take care